But what your heart beating for? You scared? You scared? What your heart beating for? You scared? Y'all love that little song, but no, seriously, guys, I want to talk to you guys today about fear because, in my opinion, fear kills more dreams than failure, guys. Fear stops you from trying, fear cripples you. It's like the song Thriller. If y'all have never heard Michael Jackson Thriller, check out that song. And he was like, It's coming in the night, it gets closer, and then it takes you. <laughs> That's how fear uh, does you, like the Michael Jackson Thriller song. Like it literally creeps onto you. It makes, well, I forgot how the, 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 it starts, but no, seriously, think about fear when you think about that song. And I promise you that's how crippling and um, traumatizing fear can be. Guys, oh my God, like, it's scary to be scared. <laughs> it is scary to be scared. Think about a time in your life where you were literally just totally frightened like scared and just think about like how your body responded how your how did your mind responded but more importantly how did you respond to being so frightened now it's the same way when you're going after goals in life like once you get scared it's like you go run and hide. You're not the only one that has ran away from their destiny. People do it all the time. Like, I'm trying to make sure that I'm not doing it. But at, at, but the truth is, sometimes I really do get scared. And one of the, the most scariest things that, that people... Um, that people experience is the fear of failure guys people are so scared that things just won't work out people are so scared that you know if I try then what if I don't accomplish and this type of fear uh, keeps them from trying in the first place and it keeps them complacent and living the life that they know they know they do not want to live so why do we choose to live the life that we know we don't want to live versus trying to um trying to go for for better and trying to go for more why do we do this it is because we are afraid guys look here Here's the thing. You need to fail. Failure is not necessarily a bad thing. It's actually a good thing because a, a lot of the times when you fail, you learn something valuable in the process. Failure is how you gain experience. Failure allows you to see what went wrong like you can literally evaluate you have an experiment you know where you have now you've gotten data from your experiment or which you can say okay I tried I failed this is what happened this is where I went wrong this is the things that I could have controlled these are the things that I could not control and then honestly if it's something that you are passionate about or something that you really want to accomplish well yeah you have now a data set where you can actually go at that goal again guys so like you have to think about all of the greats like like a michael jackson every time i say like greats i mean i think of a michael jackson or like a more like more uh um uh, realistically let's just say a michael jordan Man, people don't know like the struggle. People don't know like what it took for these greats to become great. I promise you they did not start like that. It took a lot of missed shots. 
it took a lot of like failure to become great nobody just like wakes up just like at the top of their game you know what i'm saying and it's like by the time you realize who these people are they've already been through all the failure they failed and failed and failed and failed until they became proficient so guys what i want to just tell you is that don't let fear rob you out of the life or the destiny that you know god has for you because at the end of the day guys nobody makes it out of here alive that's what i want you to know everybody will die <laughs> okay sorry to let you know you know but everybody is gonna die so it's like you have to live this life like like you know that because you don't get a second chance there's no second chances. So you can literally sit here and waste your time. You can sit here and you can tuck your little tail. Or you can sit over here and say, you know what? Forget. Forget it. I'm going to do it anyway. All right. I fell. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to get what I came here for. Because at the end of the day, you're not going to be here forever. So you might as well make it great. You might as well take that time to fail but fail forward, fail in, in, in a direction that you will be satisfied with, you know? Because at some point you're gonna see progress. At some point, if you're doing the right things, if you're doing the right things, you're evaluating your, 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 your data sets, you're going back at it again with more knowledge and more experience. Guys, I, would, I couldn't tell you how many times like, I've started like different businesses and things like that that I no longer, you know, have. But guess what? I learned a lot in the process. I learned a lot in the process. And something in me is just like, you know what? I just want to make my own money. I want to do my own thing. I want the freedom. I want the, 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 the money. I want the, you know, I want the lifestyle. So therefore, I got to put in the work. Okay, guys, you're not finna get there without putting the work. And the thing is, people buy like a thousand courses. They want to buy courses. They want to buy eBooks. I mean, I've been, uh, I've been guilty of the such as well. And not saying it's a bad thing. Like we go into these conferences and we getting all this motivation, and then we turn around and not do nothing. I'm talking about nothing. Nothing that literally scratched the surface to where it's like significant. Like we are basically cheering on those that are doing something with their lives. And we say, we can do it too. We want to do it too. But yet we all talk. We all talk. When we going to stop being all talk, y'all? Y'all let me know in the comments. When are we going to stop being all talk and go ahead and be great? When? That's a question that I'm also asking myself because, like, at some point, something has to break. You either have to admit that you don't, re you didn't really want it that bad, and you're not gonna really go after it, or you gotta admit that you've been sitting here sulking and, and getting sick and tired, and uh, you know, and you know what? Time is now. The time is now to do something different. The time is now to like turn up the notch. The time is now to go after it. The time is now to make it happen. Which one are you going to do? Because you're going to come to a conclusion. Or you're going to realize that you wasted so much time and now time is up. So do you want to be on that bed looking back at your life like man, I could have did this. I could have did that. I could have done it. And I, you know what? You can sit over here and be stuck in the past because maybe you did something great. Maybe you did. And you're going, oh, man, I already I did this and I did. Well, how long ago was that? How long ago was that? And what are you doing in this century? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? <laughs> Whatever you got to do, guys, I want to encourage you to just do it. Just do it. You don't need nobody to validate you. I was talking to a friend about validation the other day. 
You don't got, you ain't gotta validate me. Give yourself a stamp of approval and do it. Get to it. <laughs> hey guys, if you like this video, like the video so we know. It's definitely, definitely gonna help uh, us know that you may like to see more content like this. You're welcome to join our family. Subscribe to the channel. We'll be happy to have you. And then lastly, guys, if you don't want to ever miss another vehicle, <laughs> another vehicle, if you don't want to miss another video, hit the bell notification button. And guys, every time we drop a video, you're going to get a notification. I will see you on the next video.